Billy, you know something. What is it? I'm scared, Pancho. Bullshit. You ain't afraid of no man. There's something out there waiting for us. And it ain't no man. We're all gonna die. Shalom, all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Rakakadash. Double honest and teachers that listen to us of Great Millstone, also to your brothers that they're putting up the truth, faithfully, fearlessly feeding the sheep, and to your brothers and sisters tuning in, Shalom, and you heard right there, okay, that Esau, or the Edomite, the so called white man, they are afraid of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, because they know what? Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, my Shai said what? He will meet Esau not as a man, but as a power, as a God. And Esau knows this. And this is the reason why Esau is shaking this boat. Let's go into the first book here. This is the book of Amos chapter 9, start verse 8. And it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Ashai. So the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Ashai, faces on this wicked place great called Great Babylon America. Now, you know that this place, you know, brags, you know, um, parades its military all across all across its earth. You know, it has bases all, all across the earth, you know, uh, surrounding these nations with its ships, you know, you know, have spy satellites and it's, you know, it's spy planes all over the earth, you know, and this place is, is very proud of, of that great sword that it has been given, which in particularly uh, is, is concerning the United States military, which it has used in utter wickedness to control this earth. But see, the law Lord has something for this place because see the Lord is going to break the teeth okay of the so-called white man these Edomites okay these wicked demons that are on this earth that has oppressed the children of Israel Yasharala us so-called blacks Native Americans and Latinos okay and he's going to do that okay by doing what let's go into the book of Isaiah 19 and verse 2 and it says I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor city against city and kingdom against kingdom which we would like to refer to these as queendoms against queendoms okay because Esau really is is a is a maniacal okay bitch okay and you see right now okay we right now trapped in this place known as spiritual Sodom in Egypt okay and you see in every state they have what they call a national guard you have the army reserve you have you know the navy you get the air force you get the marines you know you get the reserve components of those you now have the space force which they are trying to prepare to go do what file against our Malak Yahushua Mashiach who's going to return with the angelic angels okay and and, and a force that Esau can't even begin to comprehend okay in his wicked weak ass Hollywood movies that Somehow he comes out the victor against an, uh, an invasion that comes from 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 an advanced uh, race of people from space. When we know that's just folly and stuff. So we know right now, okay, us so-called uh, blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos that are in this truth, and we understand that our Malak is going to destroy this place, and he's bringing this judgment on these on these wicked devils, these Edomites, okay, having them clash against each other, okay, and you are seeing this war, okay, is already brewing right now across the earth. These nations are turning this back against this place, okay. You got the uh, the uh, the EU, they're, 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 they're hating this whore, okay, Great Babylon, America. You have uh, a lot of trysts and a lot of confusion that's going on in this place here, okay, because this place is not even, even uh, you know, standing unity, even though they preach that unity, okay, these, these uh, you have the left side and the right side, okay, they're divided because why? The wicked, okay, this is an evil, uh, okay, uh, disease nation, a pestilence on this earth, and the Lord is going to destroy it. This is the book of Job 20. And stand with verse 4, and it reads, Knowest thou not this of all, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumph of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach into the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which seeing him shall say, Where is he? Okay, and this man is full of crap. Okay, this the, the World War Tree is going to be that, 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 um, you know, that decision that Yahweh Bashi Shah has made to, to place on the so called white man, okay, to break his teeth because this is this is how this man has been able to control. He's been able to do a shed the blood of Yasharala, okay, he's been able to shed the blood of these other nations, which we quite frankly don't really give a crap about because they're going to be perpetual slaves for the 1000 year reign, okay, uh, when Esau is put down, okay, but. We realize that this man is full of crap. Now, you see this man, he got the campaign of these all-inclusive, he is military, okay? And this is a great snare, okay, that Esau is laying out for Jake because you have 
uh, right now the economy is crashing. Okay, uh, you have uh, a lot of economic turmoil. You starting to see a lot more TikTok video, YouTube videos, and all kind of videos going up with Eve and Jason coming up, and they're really talking about the hard times that they're going through right now, which is we right now we're already in the start of Jacob's trouble. But see, Esau always has an answer. You got to remember this man comes from every angle because he's that serpent that was in the garden. Okay, that beguiled Eve. Okay, it's better over here. Okay, the Lord, how about you, man? I can't really provide for you like the way I do. I have the answer for you. I care for you. You're going to be, you know, greater than what he created you to be. Let's go into the book of Ezekiel 35 and start verse 5. It says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in a time of their calamity, in a time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord, power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood should pursue thee. Said thou hast not hated blood, even blood should pursue thee. Now, let's go into these things here. I have some pictures up here. And as you can see, okay, Esau has those snares open. Now, one of the things that Esau do, one thing, if you've actually been paying attention here, if you've been living in Great Babylon long enough, what you would notice that in a time of economic depression or in a time of, you know, an econ economic downturn, the military suddenly get a, a lot of people interested in it. And we saw this during the time, okay, when we had a, a minor collapse, okay, during after that so-called 9-11, okay, you saw it actually uh, during what, 2008, during that, that, that little minor collapse. And again, now you are going to start to see it emerging okay as more of these people losing their job in particular you know we know jake is affected at the lower level okay and you've seen okay here it says uh where they have in these uh open recruitment okay mandatory military instruction affects so-called blacks latino high school student most frequently report says and if you read it real close here you see that some of the parents are objecting to this because they're making it mandatory for you to join uh jrotc okay in high school okay and you see here uh where this other one comes in here where it says uh, uh usa rec outlines measures to increase inclusivity in recruiting this inclusivity this word okay it meaning what we want to bring in the so-called blacks and the americans and latinos inside it as if they're doing you a favor see esau hates you okay we can't say more than enough like that i just read ezekiel 35 and 5 it says because i was had a perpetual hatred and it shared the blood of the children of israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity in the time of that they had the iniquity had an end the lord is going to give him to the soil but esau is trying to draft you in that's why they try to make it with these slogans the feudal power the brave the marines they want you to be a part of their military force that they oppress the earth with and also in turn oppress you with okay so this is what they bring in. When you take a look at that picture, what do you see here? You see a Eve sitting down there with a baby on a table, okay? And this other Jake here, or he looks like a Jake, he could be a tear, okay? He's trying to recruit her because he's telling her, basically, you don't have any value or you don't have any other choice in life. Who's going to take care of the baby? Bet you the baby daddy's not in the life right there, okay? And this is how they're doing it like that. So a lot of Jake, when they get the back against the wall, will join the United States military when at the, at the down, as, this, as he, this economy gets further and further and further into the depression. And this is part of that snare because Esau wants to joy, destroy you. This is how part of the way he shed that blood, okay, along with just that direct contact, you know, with his, with his law enforcement, okay, the famine that he brings upon, you know, the children of Israel, okay, you know, and all the other ways that he have economically kept us down, okay, since, it, since the, the yoke fire and came of our neck of so-called the end of slavery which it, there is no end to slavery we are still here in spiritual sodom and egypt and we're going to go a little further into that let's go into the book of jeremiah uh 50 uh 1 and starting with verse 30 and it says the mighty man of babylon have forborne to fight they have remained in their holes their might have failed they became as women they have burned dwelling places her bars are broken now the thing when you look at that voice you gotta look at this part that always get me with this voice when you look at it, it says the mighty men of babylon babylon great babylon america are born to fight you know they go into wars okay 93 percent of the of this uh nation's existence has been what fighting war pressing other nation destroying and murdering the innocent all across the earth okay and now what you're seeing okay continuing it says they have remained in their holes their might have failed they became as women now why did they become as women okay when you take a look at it here's a commanding general okay okay a commanding general celebrating LB